Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. So despite the COVID-19 virus, despite the racism virus, in the United States, we still have to fight with gun violence virus. Yes, massive shootings and gun violence in the United States. America has faced a lot of mass shootings and gun violence throughout the past years. Now, with all the measures the United States has taken to stop or mitigate gun violence, it seems like it hasn't been enough. It seems like things get, keep getting worse and worse every year. For the last at least 40 years, America had not surpassed 40,000 deaths from gun violence. But as of 2020, it was recorded that more than 43,000 people died from gun violence according to the Gun Violence Archive page. It's recorded, it has, it's recorded there that it has been getting worse and worse. It went from less than 15,000 in 2018 to 39,000 in 2019 and more than 40,000 in 2020. So this shows that America has completely and horribly failed on gun violence or, or, or the control of gun violence, on gun control. America has horribly failed. Now, before we look at the 10 strict measures that the United States should probably take to control the gun violence in the United States, we have to first think about where does the problem come from? Is it having guns? Or is it having less good people with guns? Like some people would say we need more good people with guns, or other people think we need less guns in the population. Let's use the wealthy country to compare to the United States. So let's use UK. UK. The United Kingdom's population is about five times less than the United States population. Yet, according to an article published by USA Today in 2016, the United States had about 160 times more death co caused by gun violence than UK. Now with that, if you look into gun ownership, in the same article published by USA Today in 2016, the United Kingdom only had six, about 6.5 guns per 100 people. But, but the United States, guess how many? At that time, the United States had about 101 guns per 100 people. That doesn't mean every person has only a gun. It means those people that own guns own more than one gun. So with that little example, you are able to use that. The fact that USA has so many guns, guns in the population makes it hard for them to control the gun violence. Because then you don't know who is good and who is bad. The person can be good today, but because he's stressed, he goes and shoots people. The person can be good today because he's stressed, he gets a gun and shoots himself in the head. So the best thing to do then is to make sure we reduce the number of guns into the population. We make sure the people that own guns are really, really, really good people and will be very, very, very less likely to commit something stupid, to commit a crime with a gun. So with that being said, let's get into it. I mean, there's no shame in coping in other countries, countries that are doing good. There's so many countries out there that look up to US and, and these other powerful countries on how they do to have a good economy, on how they do maybe to have a strong army, you see? So some countries look up to USA. So it won't be a shame for USA to look outside because it's, it's clear that the United States has failed this gun control problem. So the best thing to do is to look outside. So if the United States looks at what UK did to have them to, to stabilize that, the United States can also look outside and look at other countries, other wealthy countries out there that are doing good in terms of gun control and copy their, their tactic because it's clear that our tactic here has failed because it keeps getting worse and worse. Can you imagine? It went from less than 15,000 people dying from gun violence in 2018 to 39,000 people dying from gun violence in 2019. And then even adding four more thousand deaths in 2020. So it means it, gets, it keeps getting worse and worse. Because just recently, we had seven mass shootings in seven days. 